It's a story breaking across the nation right now, but 19 Action News was the first to tell you about it. We are getting your reaction to shocking video coming out of a dairy farm in Wisconsin that has ties to Northeast Ohio. Scott Taylor has more in this 19 Action News investigation. This hidden camera video is very hard to watch, and the owner of the farm is now changing his statement and how he feels about the video. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, man. Just look at the reaction on people's faces who are watching shocking hidden camera video shot by Mercy for Animals at Andrus Dairy Farm in Wisconsin. I can't believe that goes on. That makes you feel bad. Workers punch, kick, and strike defenseless cows. That's really brutal. They shouldn't be treating them like that. Hold it. There is more. Cow tails are sliced off using garden shears, a practice called tail docking that's already outlawed in California and Rhode Island by 2018, only allowed in Ohio under a vet's supervision. 24 hours after I aired the video, Mercy for Animals is now releasing it to the rest of the nation. Animal welfare experts that viewed the video footage strongly condemned it, but I think common sense tells us that punching and kicking animals is wrong and that we shouldn't be doing it. The Shawano County District Attorney won't press criminal charges, but told owner Alan Andrus to fire or retrain his workers on the farm or the county could hand out citations. On Tuesday, after I was the first to show Alan Andrus what was caught on hidden camera, he told me there's nothing wrong with it. 24 hours later, he has changed his mind. In an email, he says, we were shocked to see some of our employees not following appropriate animal handling practices on our farm. Milk from Andrus's dairy farm is used in products sold by Great Lakes Cheese in Hiram, Ohio. After I showed Great Lakes the video, they stopped buying cheese made with milk from the farm. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. Sorry. Tough to watch. Now, Mercy for Animals has a national petition I just tweeted out, and you can find it on our website. It's asking companies to develop broader policies to make sure you don't have to see videos like this ever again. Scott Taylor, 19 Action News.